It's easy to take our heartbeat for granted. It's the rhythm that means we're alive and well. However, some hearts have problems keeping that rhythm and need a little help from something called a pacemaker, which is part of a pacing system. Recently, these systems have come a long way. This is SureScan Technology Explained. Let's meet Martha. She's an active person, but sometimes her heart beats too slowly. It's called bradycardia. Bradia for slow and cardia for heart. When this happens, she gets dizzy, tired, and has shortness of breath. She feels like she'll wilt if something doesn't change. Her doctor said a pacemaker would help by always keeping track of her heartbeat and springing to action when the rhythm gets too slow. That sounded great, but how does it work? What happens when it springs to action? Her doctor explained that the pacemaker is implanted just under the skin and connects to the heart with tiny wires called leads. When it senses that her heartbeat slows down, the pacemaker sends small electrical impulses to fix the problem. Martha smiled when she imagined the device making her like the bionic woman. But she also had real concerns about having the system installed and maintained. Her doctor said inserting the pacemaker requires a small incision just below her collarbone and may only require an overnight hospital stay. Once it's there, she'll need to check in with her doctor from time to time. Her doctor also explained that, like any procedure, there are risks associated with the implant. For example, she could get an infection at the implant site. She could have sensitivity to the device material or the device may not provide the therapy she needs. The pacemaker runs on a battery and it lasts 7 to 12 years. Martha's biggest concern was how a pacemaker might limit her lifestyle or medical options. She had friends with pacemakers and they've lived normal, active lives. But she also knew pacemakers deserve special care. Because the system is implanted under the skin, it can't be removed like jewelry. She was told most electrical items like cell phones, microwaves, or vacuums are safe to use. But because they produce a small electrical field, they should be kept 6 to 12 inches away from the pacemaker. However, there are some things that don't get along with pacemakers at all, like MRIs. This was disappointing. Now that she is getting older, MRI may be even more important, because many pacemaker patients may need an MRI. It's a doctor's best tool for seeing detailed images of soft tissue inside the body, like organs or the brain something that CT scans and x-rays don't do well. She would know. MRI helped her doctor diagnose a serious internal issue in the past. From what she learned, the powerful magnets that MRI uses to make the images would cause pacemakers to heat up, vibrate, or malfunction. Originally, pacemakers were not designed for MRI use. The system, software, and even leads all had the possibility to behave badly in an MRI making MRI a problem for pacemaker patients. But her doctor had good news. She said there is now a pacemaker that has addressed this problem. Medtronic's pacing system with SureScan technology has been specifically designed so that under certain conditions, the pacemaker can be used with MRI. The company researched the dangers and risks to patients and conducted rigorous testing to create a fundamentally new pacing system and it's especially built for people like Martha who may benefit from MRI in the future. Martha felt relieved. Not only would she have a pacemaker that would help her heart beat normally, she would have the peace of mind that MRIs could be in her doctor's toolbox. With both, she could have great options to keep her active lifestyle and feel good.